Today we'll consider the sociological significance from a research methods perspective of the TV series The Wire. The Wire embodies the adage that fiction is more realistic than fact. It's an authentic betrayal of the social decay of a particular section of American society. The scene that we'll look at depicts gang members discussing how chess resembles the neighbourhood drug culture. And rather than using professional actors, locals from the Baltimore area were used as actors. The Wire stimulates the sociological imagination in a number of ways. The chess scene can be interpreted as representing the organisational structures of drug distribution and the individuals that are involved. D'Angelo, a medium-level drug dealer, teaches two members of his subordinate crew, Wallace and Brady, how to play chess using the game pieces as metaphors for the drug hi hierarchy in his stash house. Now the king, he moved one space any direction he damn choose because he's the king. Like this, 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 all right? But he ain't got no hustle. But the rest of these motherfuckers on the team, they got his back. And they run so deep, he really ain't got to do shit. I like your uncle. Yeah, like my uncle. He reveals his difficulties as a middle manager and how to deal with unreliable subordinates and demanding superiors. His elaboration on the chess pieces and their moves illustrates Baltimore's social life, where participation in drug selling is regularly described as the game. Chess provides a useful backdrop for anal analysing how specific themes emerge in the lives of the characters and how their biographies intersect with social circumstances. The character of Snoop Pearson, for example, personifies a number of sociological issues. The issue of gender is paramount. As the only female soldier in the show, she participates in a masculine organisational hierarchy that also provides insights into labour processes. Sociologists have long observed an increase in precarious forms of work at the expense of more permanent forms, and Snoop embodies these issues. She also exemplifies a sense of community and belonging, um, belonging to uh, a, a gang, for example. Questions around what bind people together and what causes communities to decline are classics in sociological research, and the relationship also between structure and agency is pivotal. As an individual in society, to what extent are we free agents, able to make choices that are unhindered by circumstance, gender, race or ethnicity? Conversely, how do these factors impinge upon us? Snoop's actions are most certainly contextualised and influenced by her circumstances and her social environment, her private troubles, if you like, placed within a, a broader public context. Snoop epitomises this kind of structure agency dilemma that is critical to the discipline of sociology. Due to its fictional realism style, The Wire is uh, described as a piece of lyrical sociology. This is a branch of sociology that examines the poetic aspects of social life and society and how they can be just as useful as, say, conducting a small or even a large-scale social survey like a census. Uh, while these kinds of social surveys provide lots of quantitative information, such as generating statistical data, they don't provide so much in-depth, qualitatively rich data. On the other hand, the wide does, and in this sense, it's an example of contemporary ethnography. Ethnography is a methodological technique used by anthropologists who often go off to exotic societies in far-flung places. At home, ethnography, on the other hand, is a term described um, where sociologists study their own societies. This term was used in particular in the pioneering work of the Chicago School of Sociology in America during the 1920s and 30s. Here, sociologists wanted to document social life in various parts of the city, and particularly under privileged parts of Chicago. They employed journalistic techniques, such as interviewing and note-taking, to support their research, as well as crossing those with more traditional approaches to social science reporting. In relation to The Wire, Burroughs and Savage talk about how this represents a, cr a coming crisis in empirical sociology. What they fear is that sociological work is being surpassed by other forms of research that's conducted beyond the academy, by people, for example, and organisations that are better equipped to carry out sociological-style research um, and they don't, aren't hindered by some of the hurdles that sociologists in the academy are hindered by, such as gaining ethics approval or funding restrictions. A TV series like The Wire is a good example of how critical commentary about social life and society can happen in fictional representations and not only in sociological monographs. 
So rather than conducting research interviews and immersing yourself in a culture, you can also learn a lot about social research just by watching TV.